Controlling those big numbers of geese in Denver City Parks is a year-round job in the city. You recall got a lot of pushback when it culled part of the goose population last year. But before that happens, the city starts with a unique method known as the gooseinator. Karen Morfitt went along with Denver Parks and Rec to see how it works. You may have seen this device in action before. The city has used it for a number of years in hopes of making sure these birds don't make Denver Parks their home. To some, it may look like a toy. I saw it moving through the grass, but then I thought it was something you could buy for the kids for Christmas or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what what was that. In fact, it's a tool with a very specific purpose. As you can see, the teeth and the bright colors in the eye, it mimics a natural predator that the geese might encounter in their natural environment, such as like a wolf or a coyote. It's called the gooseinator. Operator Alex Gleason says it's designed to make sure geese who have grown comfortable in the parks and around people get back in the air and continue their migratory patterns. They'll recognize us as soon as we lift it up out of the truck bed or even driving close to a, a, a flock of geese, they'll know to, to fly away pretty quickly. The city says the number of geese and the amount of waste left behind is a growing issue. This year, they added the controversial process of culling or rounding up and killing the geese to the management plan after hazing alone didn't work. Most people we see are um, curious. There are a smaller amount of people that um, already know what we're doing and have formed opinions. Gleason says the gooseinator is one of the least intrusive ways of getting the birds to move on. And for those who have seen it in action, it does get the job done. I'm sure it'd be quite effective. The city says each gooseinator costs anywhere between three and four thousand dollars. Right now they have seven of them that help control the populations in a number of Denver parks. In Denver, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First. Thank you, Karen.